Life in the Stone Age was brutal. For most of you watching this, it's probably a wide known fact. But 7,300 years ago, a brutal massacre occurred in a cave in the Spanish Pyrenees. And the brutality of this particular massacre is helping archaeologists understand the nature of human violence. And the question if humans are hardwired to express violence or not. I would like to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Wondrium, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I'm going to look at a massacre of Neolithic farmers that took place approximately 7,300-ish years ago. So first, let's take a very quick look at the location of the discovered remains of the massacre. They were found in the El Stroc cave in the Spanish part of the Pyrenees mountain range. You can see the location and entrance on the pictures on screen right now. So for those of you who don't know, the Pyrenees is a mountain range between the borders of France and Spain. So there's the French Pyrenees part and the Spanish Pyrenees. The mountain range extends some 500 kilometers, approximately 310 miles. So for a long time, it was a widespread idea that humans back when they were hunter-gatherers were by nature good and peaceful due to the belief that back then the people had an egalitarian existence. After farming became widespread, hierarchies formed in the idea of property and this would have changed the lives of the people living back then drastically. So it was believed that in order to defend property and possessions, humans were forced to use violence. Nowadays, in 2023, the idea that hunter-gatherers were peaceful and egalitarian has been disproven by evidence of aggressive behavior found in prehistoric and even modern-day hunter-gatherers. So the question arises, is violence an evolutionary legacy? And yes, you heard Boris Miao. Say hi to the camera, Miao. But before we go into that, I would like to tell you a bit about today's sponsor. Are you seeking to explore the depths of knowledge and be constantly intrigued? If so, allow me to introduce you to a remarkable subscription service called Wondrium. Wondrium isn't just your run-of-the-mill streaming service. It's so much more than that. It's an educational and entertaining platform that will enrich your life experiences with a wide variety of approachable, comprehensive and illuminating content. As someone who is always looking to improve myself, I find Wondrium to be the perfect place for me, and I'm sure you will too. They've got a carefully curated collection of short and long form videos, tutorials, travel logs and documentaries presented by engaging experts who will leave you wanting more. What I love about Wondrium is that it's always evolving, with new content added to the platform every month. I recently watched The Rise of Humans Great Scientific Debates and I was absolutely stunned by the older one's stone tools in Africa and the fact that chimpanzees are able to create stone tools as well. I never thought that I could connect with something so deeply but Wondrium has made it possible. But that's not all. Wondrium has courses in a wide range of topics. Whether you're looking to pick up a new hobby, learn a new skill or just expand your horizons. They've got you covered. From outdoor cooking and hand lettering to learning a new language, Wondrium has something for everyone. And the best part? You can enjoy all of this content from just about anywhere. Whether you're on your TV, your tablet, your laptop or phone, you can take your learning with you wherever you go. So what are you waiting for? Head over to wandrium.com slash history with Kaylee or click the link in the description down below to start your free trial today. Trust me, you won't find these amazing videos anywhere else. So come on, join me on this incredible learning adventure with Wondrium. And now back to the question, is violence an evolutionary legacy? We know for a fact that we are not the only species of great apes that kill and show violent behavior towards others. It actually seems like violence is deeply rooted in human nature. It's part of our history as a species and our existence as individuals. And the discovery at the El Strox cave in Spain contributes it to the research into the violent nature of humans. So in the cave, a total of 13 individuals were discovered. 
in three separate burials. And there was a lot of ceramic and stone tools found in the cave as well. So the 13 individuals that have been found can be assigned to three different Neolithic occupation phases that are actually quite far apart in time. The oldest phase is more than 2,000 years older than the youngest phase of occupation found in the cave. The middle phase is a thousand years apart from either. So the researchers focused on nine individuals, of which were five adults and four children from the earliest phase of occupation. So these remains were examined and radiocarbon dated, and the researchers made the gruesome discovery that the five adults and four children between the ages of three and seven, which is really, really young, were brutally murdered around 5300 BCE, making them the victims of a massacre. They were shot with arrows, and the researchers stated that the adults and children also showed traces of blunt violence to the skull and their entire skeleton. So the adults and the children were most likely first shot with arrows, which is already not a really fun thing to experience, and then afterwards hacked to death. All evidence here points to what the researchers said was overkill. What could have been the motive for such an excess of violence towards this group of people? Well, genetic tests revealed that the individuals were related to the very first Neolithic farmers in the Iberian Peninsula. They were the natives. And the perpetrators of the excessive violence have been speculated to be new migrants to the area. The new migrants most likely violently killed the locals for control of the resources in the area. But the brutality of these killings could indicate another motive as well. The migrants and natives may have held different worldviews and other tribal beliefs, and this may have been a long-standing conflict between the two groups that led to an escalation of intergroup violence. This research has given us a new view of the origin of violence and our human nature. The traditional view was that humans evolved to be more violent, to keep their resources and possessions safe, but based on this research, it would seem that violence has always been apparent. Ethnic cleansing may have always been a part of the nature of humans. At least historically speaking, it seems like humans have a natural ability to dislike the new neighbor, or the new neighbor to dislike the neighbors that were already living there. Which is a shame. Neighbors can be fun. This research also shows that we can overcome our violent nature. And one way to do that is to stop dividing people into different groups, whether that's based on religion, ethnicity, gender, or whatever. I mean, we need to stop pushing people in like these cubes of this is what I think you are and that's it. Like that's, no, it's not gonna help us. We need to start seeing all others simply as humans. In our multicultural society, this would be the ultimate step forward. So what do you think of this brutal massacre? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, besides the pictures of some of the skeletons showing the evidence for blunt force trauma and damage left by arrows, there's nothing to show you, unfortunately. A lot of people comment on my videos saying they want more visuals. Well, I can give you visuals if there are any. And if there aren't, you just have to look at my face, I'm so sorry. And before you go, head on over to wandream.com slash history with Kaylee or click the link in the description down below to start your free trial today. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. I would like to take a moment to thank all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means the world to me. Uh, I actually bought a car. I don't have it yet, I can pick it up next week, but yeah, I have a car, at least I bought it. Um, a lot of things have been changing, I have a week at home, 
while my boyfriend is at home as well because he's off work. And then after that, we will fly to Malta for a couple days and just relax, unwind and soak in the sun. A new video next week, probably a short one. And the week after that, I'm not sure yet, probably no video. But yeah, with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.